Guess who's back in the house? It's Samantha here with Samantha Race the Recipe, and I'd like to welcome you back to the 12 Days of Christmas. Cookies, that is. On the 12th day of Christmas, Samantha rated me. 12 design and taste, 11 bite size shapes, 10 berry blends, 9 spiced and laced, 8 is up no bake, 7 iced and rich, 6 home cooked tricks, 5 share the cookie recipe. Four so soft and chewy, three for ease of cooking, two she hates all nuts, and no one because I burned the cookies. If you're wondering what the 12 days of Christmas cookies is, then I don't know where you've been child. We are like on day five. And so you need to go back and watch days one through four. Look up above, there's a card where you can click and see the playlist of all the cookies. However, basically what this is, is each Christmas holiday, Food Network puts out all of these different Christmas cookies. And then Reed Drummond has a list of her favorites, right? So I grabbed the list and I'm like, we're going to see what's really going on with these cookies. So before we get into the recipe, if you haven't already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And make sure that you're ringing the notification bell so you don't miss an upload, honey. Also, be sure that you're liking and sharing the video, and we are not going to waste any more time. This was a simple, simple cookie. We are making Ann Burrell's Pignoli cookie. I'll tell you right now, um, one of the main ingredients was almond paste and chow. I'm just going to say sticky icky, okay? Sticky icky. So let's just jump right into it. Other people suggested that sugar would break it down. So since the next step was to put the sugar, I went ahead and added my cup and a half of powdered sugar. And it did help it to become crumbly, which was what the intended um, state of the almond paste was. Then next thing I did was I went ahead and added my honey, a pinch of cinnamon, some salt, my two egg whites, and um, lemon zest. And then I beat it until it came together. Um, her instruction says about five minutes. Obviously, I'm not going to make you wait five minutes, but that's what we did, okay? So the next thing I did was I filled up my pastry bag with the cookie dough, and then I cut the tip, and I piped them out for, you know, like about one-inch circles is what I tried to do because that's what she um, put in the instructions, and this is about that. Once I finished piping out the cookie dough, then I put my pine nuts on top. You just press them down gently so that they adhere, adhere to the um, cookie dough. And while I've been doing this, my oven has been preheated to 350. And so now I'm going to pop them right in for 12 minutes. Now listen here. When I pulled these cookies out, first of all, what I said at the beginning, sticky they sticky almond paste is sticky these cookies are sticky i don't know so i went ahead and i tasted them off camera and i lost the footage but here's the thing this has that that characteristic floral um taste but for me it is a little strong also i just really hate how sticky the cookies are but on another note, I love, love, love the pine nut. You can taste each ingredient in these cookies. The texture for me is a no. I did not like the texture. I give it a one. The cookie itself, I give a three. And I'll tell you why. It, I know three may sound like, oh, it's just kind of blah. But the texture really threw me off for the cookies. For the time and the effort, I give these a five out of five. I will say one thing about all of these cookies on Ree's 12 favorite cookies. They are all very, very simple recipes. And so if you haven't made your way over to the Food Network channel to try some of these out, then I encourage you to do so. If you want a step-by-step -step cook with me, then go ahead and click that um, playlist right above and go yeah. through it. And I'll catch y'all next time.